The Civil Service Commission administers the annual search for outstanding government workers. The search consists of three award categories, namely the CSC Pag-asa Award, the Outstanding Public Officials and Employees or Dangal ng Bayan Award, and the Presidential Lingkod Bayan Award. Each year, heads of government agencies nominate public service exemplars to the search. Today, we will recognize the 2020 and 2021 Outstanding Government Workers, our Lingkod Bayani in Government Service who exemplified love of country, selflessness, service excellence, and malasakit for the Filipino people. Let us stand for the Philippine National Anthem. Let us put ourselves in the presence of our Lord, our gracious Heavenly Father. We come before you today as we celebrate and recognize our outstanding government workers. Thank you for giving us the breath of life. Thank you for giving us strength, wisdom, and courage to carry out our duties as servant heroes of our time. Thank you for such health and sound mind. Without your guidance, we will not be able to fulfill our purpose of serving our countrymen well. Protect, O Lord, every Filipino and all people around the world from the threat of the COVID-19 virus. Bless our leaders, from our dear President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, down to every personnel of this bureaucracy, our families, and our entire country. May this event not only bring joy to our hearts, but also hope for a better government, an inspiration to serve the public with all our being, and an instrument to show our love for God and country. To every awardee, may this milestone become an inspiration in achieving better, greater things for our people. Remind us, O Lord, of our oath of public service and help us to live by it each day. To you be all the glory, honor, praises, and thanksgiving. Amen. As part of the 121st Philippine Civil Service Anniversary, the Civil Service Commission through the PCSA Steering Committee in consultation with agencies of government, proudly introduces the new Panunumpa ng Lingkod Bayan. Ako ay isang Lingkod Bayan. Pangangalagaan ko ang tiwalang ipinagkaloob ng mamamayan. Maglilingkod ako ng may malasakit, katapatan at kahusayan na walang kinikilingan. Magiging mabuting halimbawa ako at magbibigay ng pag-asa at inspirasyon sa aking kapwa lingkod bayan. Lilinangin ko ang aking sariling kakayahan upang sa lahat ng panahon ay mapaglingkuran ko ng buong kausayan ang sambayanan. Hindi ako makikibahagi sa mga katiwalian sa pamahalaan. Pipigilan at isisiwalat ko ito sa pamamagitan ng tama at angkop na pamamaraan. Isa sa buhay ko ang isang lingkod bayang makadiyos, makatao, makakalikasan at makabansa. Tutugon ako sa mga hamon na makabagong panahon tungo sa antikain ng matatag, maginhawa at panatag na buhay. Sa mga tungkulin at hangaring ito, kasihan nawa ako ng may kapal. A pleasant day to all. 
Welcome to the awarding rights for the 2020 and 2021 Outstanding Government Workers. Let us meet the members of the committees on awards who went over the accomplishments of nominees nationwide and selected the winners of the Civil Service Commission Pag-asa and Dangal ng Bayan Awards and the finalists of the Presidential Lincoln Bayan Award who were subjected to vetting and approval of the President. The 2020 and 2021 Committee on Presidential Lingkod Bayan and CSC Pag-asa Awards is composed of Alicia De La Rosa Bala, Chairperson of Civil Service Commission, Committee Chairperson. Alicia De La Rosa Bala is currently the Chairperson of the Civil Service Commission. Prior to her appointments, she was the Undersecretary for Policy and Plans of the Department of Social Welfare and Development, which she has served for the past 39 years. She also served as Deputy Secretary General for the ASEAN Socio-Cultural Community Department in Jakarta, Indonesia from 2012 to 2015. She was also appointed as the country's first child rights representative to the ASEAN Commission for the Promotion of the Protection of the Rights of Women and Children in 2010. Lieutenant General Romeo T. Tanalgo, Vice President Risk and Assurance Group, Nico Asia Corporation, 2012 Presidential Lincoln Bayan Awardee, Committee Vice Chairperson. Lieutenant General Tanalgo is a graduate of the Philippine Military Academy. As a seasoned Marine combatant, his experiences in the field saw his significant rise in the chain of command in the AFP. Meanwhile, with his managerial and operational acumen, he rose from the rank and was designated in positions of major responsibility. Commandant of Philippine Marine Corps, Commander of the Northern Luzon Command, and Vice Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. He retired from the service in 2017 after serving the nation for more than 38 years. Currently, he is the Vice President for Risk and Assurance and Chief Risk Officer of Nickel Asia Corporation. Robert Eric A. Borge, Officer in Charge, Office of the Presidential Protocol, Office of the President Committee Member. Ambassador Borge is a career diplomat in the Philippine Foreign Service. Prior to his detail at the Office of the President, he was a Director for Maritime and Ocean Affairs and Director for South Asia. His foreign assignments include Washington, D.C. and the United Nations in New York. Mr. Borge was conferred the Orden ng Lakandula or Pinuno and the Gawad Mabini or Dakilang Kasugo in 2007. Zenaida Quizon Maglaya, former Undersecretary, Department of Trade and Industry, 2007 Presidential Lingkod Bayan Awardee, Committee Member. Ms. Maglaya started her career in government as Masikap Scholar under the Department of Industry and rose from the ranks from being a technical staff into having an illustrious career as Undersecretary for Consumer Welfare and Business Regulation Group implementing reforms. She was also the Undersecretary of the Regional Operations Group, supervising 16 regional offices nationwide, tasked to ensure sustainable development of micro, small, and medium enterprise. She retired in 2019 after 45 years in government service. Teresita T. C. Coson, Vice Chairperson, Board of SM Investments Corporation, Committee Member. Ms. Teresita C. Coson is the Vice Chairperson of SM Investments Corporation, a leading Philippine company that is invested in market, leading businesses in retail, banking, and property. She is the Chairperson of BDO Unibank and sits as an advisor to the Board of Directors of SM Prime Holdings Incorporated. Ms. C. Coson is also the Vice Chairperson of SM Foundation Incorporated which takes the lead in implementing a comprehensive sustainability program to improve the quality of life of its host communities. From 2011 to 2019, Ms. C. Kosson served as a Philippine representative to the ASEAN Business Advisory Council. On the one hand, the 2020 and 2021 Committee on Dangal ng Bayan Award is composed of Eileen Lourdes A. Lizada, 
Commissioner of Civil Service Commission, Committee Co-Chairperson. Attorney Lizada joined the CSC as Commissioner on the 5th of December 2018. Her appointment was confirmed by the Commission on Appointments on the 8th of February 2019. She has come full circle in her career as a public servant. She started with the city government of Davao, then worked at the office of the Ombudsman in Mindanao for 12 years, where she was known as a staunch crime buster and anti-graft lawyer before her transfer to the Land, Transportation, Franchise and Regulatory Board, where she proved her mettle in being a competent, strong-willed board member facing challenges to address corruption in the LTFRB. Samuel R. Martires, Ombudsman, Office of the Ombudsman, Committee Co-Chairperson. The sixth Ombudsman of the Republic of the Philippines had priestly aspirations, but fate intervened and he went on to become a lawyer and more importantly, to thread a remarkable journey in public service. He earned his Bachelor of Laws degree in San Beda College of Law and passed the bar examinations in 1976. Fast forward to March 2017, Justice Martires took his oath as the 175th Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Six months before his compulsory retirement from the Supreme Court, he asked the court's approval of early retirement so that he could fulfill a lifelong dream to serve and protect the Filipino people as Ombudsman of the Republic of the Philippines. Michael G. Aguinaldo Chairperson of Commission on Audit, Committee Member Chairperson Aguinaldo was appointed to head COA on March 2015. He is currently the External Auditor of the World Health Organization, the Food and Agricultural Organization, and the International Labor Organization of the United Nations. Prior to his COA appointments, Chairperson Aguinaldo was the Deputy Executive Secretary for Legal Affairs of the Office of the President. He has been with the Romulo Mabanta Buenaventura Sayoc and de Los Angeles law firm for 17 years. He obtained his law degree from the Ateneo in 1992 and placed 7th in the 1992 Philippine Bar Examinations. He holds a special degree in International Economic Law from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, Michigan in 1997. Rizalina N. Hustol Deputy Executive Secretary for Finance and Administration, Office of the President of the Philippines, Committee Member. Desfa Hustol joined the Office of the President in 2016. She started her government career as account clerk and bookkeeper, then rose from the ranks as a certified public accountant working with the Commission on Audit in 1985. Prior to her joining the LGU Davao City, she held the position of COA State Auditor II, her combined work experience of 42 years in the government, both local and national, makes her an undefeatable and undeniable expert in the field of public administration. She earned her master's degree in public administration in 2011, and she pursued a doctorate degree in public administration in 2013. Mara Victoria Esquerol, Under Secretary of Office of the Executive Secretary, Office of the President of the Philippines, Committee Member. Under Secretary Kerol was appointed on July 2016 at the Office of the Executive Secretary. Before her current post, she served as Assistant Secretary in 2016 and Director 4 from 2010 to 2016. She was an associate at the Ortega, Bacoro, Odulio, Calma, and Carbonell Law Office from 2013 to 2015 and at the Marcos Ochoa Serapio and Tan Law Office in 2010. Under Secretary Kerol received her Juris Doctor from the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law in 2009. She has a Master's Degree in Business Administration from the Ateneo de Manila University School of Business and a Bachelor of Science in Economics from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. We now begin with the awarding rights. Let us listen to the opening remarks of the Chairperson of the Civil Service Commission, Chairperson Alicia De La Rosa Pala. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, members of the Cabinet, heads of agencies, 
partners and sponsors, members of the Committee on Awards, awardees and their family members, guests, and fellow Lingkod Bayan, isang mapagpalang araw sa lahat. Good day, asalamu alaikum. It is the Civil Service Commission's honor to present to the President and to the Filipino people, the recipients of the Presidential Lingkod Bayan, most outstanding public officials and employees or Dangal ng Bayan and CSC Pag-asa Awards for 20 and 2021. Allow me to extend our gratitude to President Duterte for leading the conferment of the award to this deserving public servants. This Lincoln Bayani choose to take the roads less trodden, to discover creative and innovative solutions to overcome the odds. They defied obstacles amidst limitation in resources, but still ensured maximum impact of outcomes. They are truly far from the ordinary. We are now on the 62nd year of running the most prestigious rewards and recognition program for our public sector employees. More than ever, we need to recognize public servants for their extraordinary acts or services under the most trying circumstances toward efficient and effective government operations. The CSC vows to continue search for the servant heroes among us guided by the rigid standards of integrity and excellence the challenges posed by the pandemic will not stop the CSA in this pursuit to today's awardees you have done your best and have given your heart and soul to your work always uphold the ideals of true public service and may your valuable contributions continue to benefit your agencies your stakeholders and your communities to the family of our awardees sa bawat magulang, asawa, anak at kapatid, ang aming taus-pusong pasasalamat without your tireless support, understanding and motivation, our awardees would not have been able to stay long in public service and achieve their personal and professional triumphs. Maraming salamat sa inyong tiwala at support na sa kanila. As we prepare to build a better normal, let us be inspired and be emboldened by our awardees' feats. Much is expected from us as we perform our daily tasks as civil servants. Let us do with malasakit to our country and fellow Filipinos. Mabuhay kayo at mabuhay ang serbisyo publiko. We proceed with the conferment of the Civil Service Commission Pag-asa Awards given to individuals or group of individuals for exemplary performance, innovative ideas, and extraordinary accomplishments with local or department-wide impact. Our individual and group awardees shall receive a plaque signed by the chairperson of the Civil Service Commission gold-gilded medallion handcrafted by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, cash reward of 200,000 pesos per individual awardee, or 100,000 pesos for each member of group awardees. Our 2020 CSC Pag-asa awardees are Jesus Katigan Insilada Principal 1 of Kaning One National High School, Department of Education, Lambunao, Iloilo for promoting diversity and inclusivity through a culture-based and inclusive education system, integrating the beliefs, practices, and spirituality of indigenous people in the school's lessons and teachings. His Pagdungao program addressed the high dropout rate among IP students, involving parents in monitoring student performance. What I love most about being a teacher and a school administrator is the opportunity to teach and uh, touch lives and to help transform communities, especially uh, the indigenous cultural communities. My message always to my students is to pay back and forward. I am very happy to see them go back to their communities to serve their fellow indigenous peoples. We are endowed with the privilege as public servants 
so we have the pleasure to be of service to others. We always have something to offer. Jared Marta Lavadia, Local Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Officer 4, City Government of Tagbilaran, Tagbilaran City, Bohol, for his innovativeness in implementing disaster risk reduction and management programs. He designed and put in place an interactive, automated, and integrated early warning system reinforced with emergency responder capabilities, modernized equipment, and updated geological and hazard maps for all kinds of emergency situations. I love my work because of the challenges that it continues to give me and my staff. These challenges are mental, physical, and emotional. But what motivates us is the fact that people are really grateful for the services that we provide them. Although they do not express it that much, we are sure that the, the, the mere fact that we save lives and protect properties is something that has an impact on the people that we serve. Uh, in the following years, we wish to, to ensure that the barangays of Tagbilaran City will manage to get the same disaster resilience level as the city LGU. And Hunger Program Team, Provincial Government of Davao de Oro, Nabunturan Davao de Oro, Vergilia S. Aliones, Team Leader, Mark Vincent B. Tenyo, Arceli A. Timog Timog, and Arturo T. Uy, for its dedication in implementing the provincial government's food and nutrition program. Through its boundless efforts, the End Hunger Program team has fed 25,373 undernourished school children, of which over 90% have been rehabilitated. Having the feeling of satisfaction and fulfillment in serving our people is what I love most about my job. It is a lifelong dream of me to see the young generation of Davo de Oro acquire the necessary skills and the much needed education to better prepare them for the future. To everyone working in government, let us all rally behind our leaders and stakeholders. Our very existence will become truly meaningful because we have our government to lean on. Medical Social Welfare Department Baguio General Hospital and Medical Center, Baguio City Nora B. Mangusan, Team Leader Lorna M. Bagawi April Gretchen P. Coffin Lina W. Pascaden and Rhea S. Tabor for the team's comprehensive social work services towards optimal recovery, its holistic services, which include psychosocial assessments and counseling, and emotional and mental support, helped patients maintain, attain, and regain their ability to function socially. Social work is a practice-based profession and an academic discipline that promotes social change and development, social cohesion, and the empowerment and liberation of people. Thinking about our patients, especially those who are marginalized and those who are in difficult situation. This makes me want to wake up every morning and to make sure that they're very provided with quality service. We shall always remember that we represent all of us. We represent our government and we bridge the gap on how our services reach our citizenry. Our 2021 CSC Pagasa awardees are Dr. Ambrose Hans Giab Agabao, Professor 6 of Isabella State University, Kabagan, Isabella, for his contribution in strengthening ISU's stature as a research hub by setting up centers on forest products innovation, environment and biodiversity, competency-based certification and technical education. Through his efforts, the learning exchange program of the Singapore Polytechnic was brought to the ISU, expanding training opportunities for its students. This is what I love about my job and career. It gives me the greatest strength to pursue my career with the greatest chance to make a difference in the lives of the people, the students, ordinary people in communities, and the whole workforce in the organization. As such, 
we have every reason to be doing every best effort in our capacities. Provide the best possible service experience to people and create opportunities to be of help. Being part of the solution rather than being the problem. Esther Batad Flores, Supervising Science Research Specialist, Scientist One of Philippine Carabao Center, Department of Agriculture, Science City of Munoz, Nueva Ecija. For her significant contributions in the National Genetic Improvement Program of Philippine Riverine and Swamp Buffaloes, she spearheaded the establishment and implementation of a structured breeding program, establishment of a molecular genetic laboratory, and development of genetic evaluation model for estimation of genetic parameters and breeding values. What I love most is with my job now is I deal directly with the animals in a sense na kung dati ay inooperahan ko yan but right now I really look and get to understand the individual animals and the breeding animals that we have. Hindi lang yung nakikita namin sa aming herd yung effort na ginawa namin na yun, nakikita ko sa farmers kasi we also deal directly with our farmers. Sabi nila, eh, bakit nag-aral ka sa Amerika, bumalik ka? O, eh, sabi ko naman is, uh, I think pagbalik ko, mas marami ako matutulungan dito. Don't look at your uh, job as just yung source ng pera, but look at the, the satisfaction of, of what you have done or what you have created or the impact of yung mga decisions that you made. Carmel Bonifacio Garcia, Supervising Tourism Operations Officer of Provincial Government of Catanduanes, Virac Catanduanes, for her noble and creative ideas that help boost the tourism industry of Catanduanes. She collaborated with different government agencies to improve access to tourist attractions, increase the number of accredited accommodations, and develop water activities to make the island attractive to tourists. What I love most about my job is the opportunity to touch and transform the lives of the communities where tourism emanates. I get to be an active participant of change. More than the economic benefits that the tourism industry contribute, the immense impact that I get to impart with my fellow tourism champions, our grassroots tourism workers, is what truly matters to me. Sa mga kapo ko lingkod bayani, let us continuously strive for excellence in the name of public service. It must be our commitment to hone our craft, to bloom where we are planted, to prioritize the needs of those we truly serve, to go an extra mile, and to deliver our service with excellence and integrity at all times. Hajuria Cornelio Gonzalez, Master Teacher 1 of Tagabakid Elementary School, Department of Education, Mati City, Davao Oriental, for her significant role in giving due dignity to the Kagan tribe, with the establishment of the Kagan Tribal Council, which fought to be recognized by the National Commission on Indigenous People as an indigenous group. She is also instrumental in the social awakening of the Kagan people with her initiatives on gender equality and women empowerment, youth training and development, and livelihood generation. I have the opportunity to act as a support system that is lacking elsewhere in my students' lives and inspire them to validate the purpose in their lives to become productive and responsible members in their own respective communities. There is no better satisfaction for a public servant like me than to nurture the sense of reward and enjoyment that I feel and cherish every time I am able to serve, help, and educate my constituents and shape the future of our society. Let us continue to be servant leaders who will continuously serve others in the spirit of community development and growth. COVID-19 Crisis Management Team Starting with their team leader, Deputy Executive Director 3, Dr. Romina A. Dangilan and members Deputy Executive Director 3, Nerisa M. Girial Medical Specialist 3, Dr. Glenda Eleanor P. Pamugas and Department Manager 3, Dr. Joseph Michael A. Haro National Kidney and Transplant Institute, Deleman, Quezon City for the team's proactive and innovative response to COVID-19 through the crafting of NKTI's COVID-19 Manual of Operations, which laid down necessary guidelines in the screening, diagnosis, 
and treatment of infected patients. The team also is credited for administering hemoperfusion as treatment for patients with severe to critical COVID-19. What we love most about our job is that we are able to treat patients in the hospital with the most highly advanced diagnostics and therapeutics for kidney disease and transplantation. And this is what we have a passion for first and foremost as physicians. What keeps us motivated is that there is still so much to do to improve the health condition of the Filipino people. And we are in an environment that allows us to innovate the practice of our profession and to think beyond what is expected in solving problems. We should continue to be inspired by the Filipino people that they deserve the best and that we should tirelessly work towards providing them the best services we can offer. We all need to participate in nation building by teaching our young students or doctors compassion by running a caring and efficient hospital or agency and by being proud that being in the public sector will give us the opportunity to give our countrymen excellent public service. Job Scouts, Pathfinders of Employment Opportunities. Starting with our team leader, Project Development Officer for Roy B. Martinez, and members, Senior Labor and Employment Officers Gurley M. Vista and Gregoria L. Ugay. Labor and Employment Officer 1, Jessa May A. Sarona, and Administrative Aid 6, Quiverly M. Barrientos, City Government of Tagum, Davao del Norte. For bridging the employment gap by providing needed guidance to job seekers through the Career Employability Skills and Assessment Test, Career and Employment Coaching, and maintaining the Barangay Education and Employment Desk. With these interventions, placement rate of Tagumenos increased, and even with the continuing COVID-19 pandemic, the group was able to place 81.79% of the applicants in 2020. We are called to have a purpose-driven and action-oriented life. The more na ginagawa natin ang paglilingkod, the more na lumanapit tayo sa mga tao. Yun bang nabago mo ang negatibong pananaw sa buhay ng isang PWD, solo parent, senior citizen, or even rebel returnees na akala na nila end of life na. na wala ng pag-asa pero nagbago ang buhay nila dahil sa naging beneficiary ng isang employment facilitation program ng peso at naging positibo at pagkaroon ng pangarap sa buhay. Alam nating lahat pinadapa tayo ng pandemya. Nahirapan tayong bumangon. Pero hindi dapat tatamigil tayo. Lalo na ngayon na kailangan ng mga tao ng serbisyo na nagmumula sa gobyerno. Bagkos, kumilos tayo ng nagkakaisa. Technology Commercialization Team Starting with their team leader, Chief Science Research Specialist Noel A. Katibong and their members, Senior Science Research Specialists Lucy A. Lastimosa and Abigail F. Gueco Science Research Specialist 2, May A. Dagaas, and Executive Director Reynaldo V. Ebora. Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development, Department of Science and Technology, Los Baños, Laguna. For significantly improving the knowledge management ecosystem of the country's agriculture, aquatic and natural resources sector, through technology transfer activities to higher education institutions, research and development facilities, and learning organizations. The team's efforts in innovation management jump-started knowledge and technology transfer, which is the key to advancing the welfare of farmers, fisher folks, and small-scale entrepreneurs. As team leader, what I love most about my job is that it always affirmed my belief that our team, what we do on technology transfer and commercialization, can really make a difference in our sector. The technologies generated in the agri-aqua sector reach in a faster and more efficient way our intended beneficiaries, our farmers and fisher folk. We hope that what we've done at the DPITC would generate ripples of success on technology transfer in the regions, 
that they will be magnified in terms of impacts on how products of R&D are utilized in the country. If we always do our best in the service of our people, we can always hope that more and more government servants would do the same. Congratulations to the 2020 and 2021 Civil Service Commission Pag-asa Awardees. Next to be given is the Dangalang Bayan Award for performance of an extraordinary act of public service and consistent demonstration of exemplary ethical behavior in observance of the eight norms of behavior under Republic Act No. 6713, otherwise known as the Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees. Let us hear from our Dangalang Bayan Committee co-chairperson. CSC Commissioner Aileen Lourdes A. Lizada, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Members of the Cabinet, Heads of Agencies, Partners and Sponsors, My Co-Chair Ombudsman Samuel Martires, Members of the Committee on Awards, Awardees and their family members, Guests and Colleagues in the Government, Ngayon ay isang napakagandang araw para maging isang lingkod bayan. Binigyang katuturan ng Diksyonaryong Filipino ang salitang dangal bilang katangian o kalagayan ng pagiging karapat-dapat o kagalang-galang. Ito ay nagsasalarawan ng dignidad, karangalan at mabuting pangalan. Sa ating mga Pilipino, Ang ating dangal ay kasing halaga ng buhay at buong salinlahi ang pagsusumikap upang panatilihin itong malinis at walang bahit. Sa araw na ito, ating bibigyan ng pagkilala ang mga dangal ng bayan para sa taong 2020 at 2021. Sila na nagpamalas ng pambihirang serbisyo at huwarang pagtalima sa ethical behavior Alin sunod sa mga tuntunin ng Republic Act Number no. 6713 o Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees. As the co-chairperson of the Committee on Outstanding Public Officials and Employees, I learned firsthand about the inspiring stories of bravery, sacrifice, commitment to public service, patriotism and compassion in action of these awardees. They are from such diverse fields of service, admin aid, medical frontliners, educators, formators, all walked the proverbial extra mile to provide much needed services. Maaring iba-iba po ang kanilang uniforming suot. Subalit, Iisa lang po ang kanilang saloobin at taglay ng kanilang puso ang matugunan ang pangangailangan at makapaghatid ng tulong sa ating kapwa Filipino. Base sa interviews, may mga linyang tumatak sa akin at gusto ko pong i-share sa inyo ang mga linyang binigay ng ating mga awardees. Alam ko na mentally at psychologically nahihirapan ang mga frontliners. Kaya I found a way to boost their morale. Nag-initiate po ako ng parangalan ng ating frontliners to make them feel good. Galing po ito sa isang doktor na nag-introduce ng telekamusta at nag-establish ng telegabay. Di ako sanay mag-compete. Kaya last year, di po ako sumama sa search. Tingin ko po ay bonus na lang ito dahil ang gusto ko lang po ay matulungan yung mga estudyante at komunidad ko po. Ako lang ang naiwan sa office nung lockdown. Kahit sa gabi, nagtatrabaho po ako. Mainit kasi ang bubong pag-araw. Mahirap gawin yung electrical. Nagkukusa, tinatapatan, or hinihigitan ko po ang aking sahod. Ako lang po ang gumagawa ng mga construction, electrical na trabaho, at naging driver na din po ako sa panahon ng pandemya. Hindi po ako humihingi ng kapalit. Basta makaserbisyo at makatugon. Pinupuntahan ko po ang isang estudyante na tumigil sa pag-aaral. 
at naglalakad po ako ng isang oras sa bundok para maabot ang bahay niya kasi gusto ko siyang matutong bumasa. Ako lang po ang medtech sa aming lugar. Solo po akong naglalakad from 8 a.m. to sawa up and down sa bundok. Walang kain dahil sa sinumpaan tungkulin. Patay o buhay, bagyo o rumaraw, nagsaswab po ako. Sa serbisyo publiko, lahat ng sobra ay hindi masama. Lahat ng sobra may sukli. Kahit kakatapos lang ng surgery sa tuhod, report po siya agad para lang ma-review ang mga estudyante niya para sa exams. Ang ating mga bibigyan ng karampatang parangal ay nagpapatunay na ang serbisyo publiko ay para sa mga taong maprinsipyo. It is not for those who easily conform to social expectations which include the desire to be rich or popular. Public service is for individuals with a strong sense of duty or an intense inner commitment to a cause that extends beyond the pressures of the moment. The reward is never material nor pecuniary. It is a different kind of fulfillment that is intangible. It dwells more on the psychological and more often than not, also spiritual. It is in knowing that one has contributed to the betterment of the society and the common good as opposed to self-entitlement and achievement of personal goals. Congratulations and my salute to the 20 and 2021 Dangal ng Bayan Awardees. Thank you for exemplifying the true essence of public service, serving others and putting their needs above one's own. May you serve as an inspiration to others and may you continue to serve as good examples to the rest. Congratulations as well to the families and loved ones of our awardees. Thank you po for your support and understanding for the long hours of work and sacrifices of our awardees. Whether that means patiently helping an elderly client understand the social security process, enlightening young minds to make them productive citizens of the country, giving medical attention to those who have less, and enforcing peace and security. Service is our way of giving back to being given the privilege of being civil servants. It is truly my honor to be working alongside all of you. Continue to be torchbearers. Let your lights shine and be excellent exemplars of what true public service is all about. Mabuhay kayo, sampu ng membro ng inyong mga pamilya at mabuhay ang serbisyo publiko. The Dangal ng Bayan Awardees shall receive a trophy designed by the late Napoleon V. Abueva, National Artist for Sculpture, a gold-gilded medallion made by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. 200,000 pesos cash reward, an automatic promotion to the next higher position with a commensurate salary suitable to their qualifications under Republic Act No. 6713. The 2020 Dangal ng Bayan awardees are Dr. Elizabeth Haravata Batino, Medical Specialist 3, the head for Women and Children Protection Unit. Baguio General Hospital and Medical Center, Baguio City, for creating a safe haven for women and children who are victims of violence and abuse. Her resourcefulness enabled the hospital to provide 24-7 essential biomedical, psychosocial, and legal assistance which facilitated recovery from trauma and stigma. Every doctor, nurse, or public servant should rise above the mentality of What's in it for me? Rather, have the commitment of genuine service, of touching their lives, listening and understanding them, of giving them another chance of life. Compassion will always be a mark of a good doctor and of a good public servant. Thank you. Jeremy Aton Cruz, Principal 3 of Pag-asa National High School, Department of Education, Legazpi City, Albay. 
for his innovative approaches in inculcating appreciation on the importance of education not only to students and parents but the entire community. He initiated Lab sa Barangay or Libro at Iba Pang Babasahin Community Libraries, helping less privileged students or helps, allowances to identified students belonging to the poorest of the poor, and bike mo pag ko, providing bicycles to students so that transportation will no longer be an excuse for not going to school. As a public servant, I want to be more committed, more honest. Public service to me is a vocation and only on this foundation upon which a moral and responsible government can be based. I need to be a public servant of absolute integrity because only then I can take civil service as a vocation. It must strengthen the sense of my mission, which I am supposed to undertake to serve the public, perform duties, and fulfill obligations. Jeffrey Galera Di Mali Teacher 1 of Mate Elementary School, Department of Education, Tayabas, Quezon, for his commitment in performing his task as a teacher assigned in far-flung areas. He has to trek for seven hours to reach his first school assignment, Busal Elementary School, providing customized learning and addressing communication difficulties to improve literacy and reduce dropout rates. Mula sa iyong mga ginagawa, Hanggat may mga taong naniniwala at susuporta sa mga programa mo, nandito tayo para hindi masira ang mga pangarap, inspirasyon at suporta natin sa kanila. Edgar Tolentino Elago, Master Teacher 1 of Hagupit National High School, Department of Education, Santiago Agusan del Norte. For his creativity and innovativeness in creating an engaging, interactive, and supportive learning environment for Mamanwa and Manobo tribes, he introduced a culture-based approach in the implementation of projects geared toward giving the members of the indigenous people equal opportunity to advance themselves through proper education. My single effort in adhering quality, efficient, inclusive, and in liberating education is my contribution towards achieving prosperity and success to our country. These are the reasons why I choose to dedicate my career to teaching and initiating community projects to inspire young minds, to help my community, and to show to them that poverty is never a hindrance to success. Gregorio Apuis Legal, Principal 1 of Mary Perpetua E. Brioso National High School. Department of Education, Masbate City, Masbate. For his display of commitment, responsiveness, sincerity, and professionalism, which inspired people to support proactive efforts in community improvement, he ensured quality education for students of Mary Perpetua e Brioso National High School through the Shared Accountability and Governance in Education or SAGE program, where he partnered with stakeholders. We should have a strong sense of obligation that will drive us to go the extra mile and act with integrity. Embrace servant leadership concepts by being aware of and caring for society's poor members, prioritizing the growth and well being of individuals and their communities, being alert, empathic, and foresighted, and led by examples such as sensitivity. Dennis Llanes Suero, Administrative Aid 1 of Schools Division Office, Vegan City, Department of Education, Vegan City, Ilocos Sur. For his commitment to service, performing various tasks with equal dedication, a jack of all trades, he puts value on his work and on being of service to his superiors and co workers, providing dental services, technical work, carpentry, electrical work, procurement, and machine operation. Disiplina sa sarili ang siya kong gabay upang laging maging tama ang aking mga gawain. Wala sa baba o taas ng posisyon ang pagiging lingkod bayan. Ito ay nasa pagmamahal at pagpapahalaga natin sa mga taong nagbabayad ng buwis 
upang sumulong ang ating pamahalaan. Walang katumbas na halaga ang dignidad ng isang lingkod payani. Dina Intendez Diaz, Daycare Worker of Canlaniba Daycare Center, City Government of Surigao, Surigao City, Surigao del Norte. For her commitment to public interest as shown in her efforts to make the Canlaniba Model Child Development Center a showcase for early childhood learning and of community stakeholder engagement. She worked for the center's accreditation and recognition as the ideal child development center among the Surigao cities in 92 barangays. Always give a happiness beyond compare, knowing that apart from their parents, I am probably the first person to give them the lesson on getting along with others, the joy and experience of playing the new game and with friends. Plant the seeds of honesty, pieces, and forgiveness make me love this job the most. Benito Ronato Ong, Administrative Aid 4 of Commission and Audit, Quezon City. For his responsiveness and dedication, rendering services even during work suspensions, calamities, and public health emergencies, he put into place a cost-effective means of communication among offices through Voice over Internet Protocol or VoIP, which generated more than 500,000 pesos worth of savings from long-distance calls. Kasamaan ko at pamilya na nagtitiwala sa kakayaan ko. Naniniwala ko sa pagbabago na pwede ko may ambag as public servant. Lalo na ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya, nakita ko ang mga bunga ng aking pagsisikap. Kaya mas lalo akong ginanahan sa pagtatapag. Kawanin tayo ng gobyerno. Dapat isa lang ang ating layunin. Ibig sa matulungan ng kapwa natin na public servant, dapat makatulong tayo sa bayan. Our 2021 Dangal ng Bayan Awardees are John Laumok Alcazarin, Administrative Aid 1, Municipal Government of Numancia, Aklan, for his display of Pagkabayaka, an Akhianon word which means compassion in the discharge of his duties in protecting marine life. He initiated the establishment of the Numancia Agri-Fishery Conservation and Protection Unit to monitor aquatic resources, coastal areas, and shorelines record species, identified protected areas for organisms and species to ensure continuous reproduction, and engaged conservation groups and scientists for the preservation of aquatic life. Partnering with various NGOs, the provincial government, and other stakeholders, especially the Officer Fox, helped me truly understand the importance of unity towards the same goal to serve the people. Being a government employee, especially during extinction war, is a challenging endeavor, but a rewarding kind of job, especially with the people I am serving. Appreciate all my efforts and voluntarily help me attain our targets for the improvement of the community. Anthony Durante Atas. Administrative Aid 6, Commission on Audit, Regional Office 1 of San Fernando City, La Union. For exemplifying commitment to public service, efficiently performing varied roles and tasks over and beyond his post as Administrative Aid 6, repair and maintenance of office equipment and facilities, carpentry, plumbing, painting, driving, landscaping, electrical works, completion of construction projects, with his multiple skills, COA Regional Office 1 was able to save substantial amounts on labor costs. Mahal ko ang aking trabaho dahil masaya ako nakakatulong sa mga tao sa aking paligi kahit gaano man kalit ito. Pagiging masipag at matyaga sa lahat ng oras ang tangi kong may babahagi. Ang isang kawanin ng gobyerno ay dapat ding may inisyatibo o sang loob na may malasakit sa ahensya na kanyang pinapasukan. Ito ang aking prinsipyo sa aking trabaho. Lucia Jacinta Santiago Benter, Medical Technologist 1, Municipal Government of La Trinidad, Benguet. 
for her responsiveness to the people of La Trinidad during the COVID-19 pandemic, ensuring that the infection is well managed and the spread of the virus averted with the extensive swabbing and contact tracing activities she led. As the lone medical technologist of the municipality, she renders laboratory services, working extra hours and days without additional compensation. Ang makita po natin masaya at nasyahan dahil natugunan ang kailangan ng mga mamayang may sakit at lumalapit sa atin upang magpatulong sa kanilang karamdaman ay isa na pong napakalaking gantimpala sa ating panunitigyan. Nakakapagbigay sigla sa kanila at sa atin na siya rin nag-uudyok upang ating pang pagbutihin at mas iangat ang antas ng ating serbisyo para sa kanila at sa pangkahalat. Don Shan R.V. Valenzuela Buen Camino, Instructor 1 of Aurora State College of Technology, Baler, Aurora, for his perseverance in developing information systems which greatly contributed to the efficiency in the delivery of services of ASCOT as an educational institution, generating savings in millions of pesos for the government. These systems include the ASCOT Human Resource Information System, Online Entrance Examination System, Certificate Management System, and Virtual Accreditation System. Working out the best ways to develop the understanding of the students in front of me is my job. As a teacher, developing skills and competencies of the students is the real deal. Ito po ang isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit I love getting a handle on the key concepts of the subjects that I am teaching. This is of course to prepare my students to be confident and committed on engaging that issues. I know that somehow I am imparting or I already imparted kahit konting knowledge lamang po sa aking mga students that I have touched their lives. Maria Teresa Hermoso Criste, Master Teacher 1, Department of Education, Schools Division of Cavite, Trece Martires City, Cavite. For her exemplary performance and immense contribution to the alternative learning system in the delivery of quality basic education for out-of-school children, youth, and adults, she pioneered various projects such as the Municipal Summit, Mushroom Metamorphosis Garden, Barangay Radio Station which actively engaged stakeholders and contributed to the betterment of the school and the community. Bilang isang dalsi, sinikap ko na matulungang ipaunawa sa mga learners ang halaga ng buhay. Ipubog sila na maging isang kapakipakinabang na membro ng lipunan at may pakita sa kanila na may magandang bukas na nagaantay para sa kanila. Basta magsikap, magjaga, magtiwala sa sarili at manalig sa Panginoon. Wala akong pinanghinayangan na oras o panahon sapagkat inilaan ko ang aking buong pagmamahal, pagunawa, at oras sa paglilingkod sa bayan. Dr. Jose Jonas Dino del Rosario, Medical Specialist 3, Philippine General Hospital, University of the Philippines, Manila, Ermita, Manila, for being a quintessential servant leader who revolutionized the practice and training of pediatric cardiology with pioneering interventional cardiac procedures, which became a standard of care in the country. He introduced the non-surgical transcatheter treatment of congenital heart disease, allowing every Filipino, regardless of economic status, to avail the procedure. Uh, loob po ng mahigit 20 taon na aking pagsiservisyo sa pamahalaan, uh, lalo na sa mga pampublikong hospital. Ang isang bagay na nag tutulak sa akin na patuloy na mag-aaral at uh, magsikap ay ang kaalaman na marami pang dapat gawin, marami pang uh, problema na dapat uh, solusyonan, marami pang batang may sakot sa puso na dapat gamutin, at marami pang pwedeng uh, improve ang aming hospital. Sherwin Tubal Manlangit, Teacher 2 of Kagraray Elementary School, Department of Education, Bato Katanduanes, for the display of creativity to instill the love of learning to his students. Through his innovative strategies as a mobile teacher, he served the farthest barangays of Bato which posted a notable number of dropouts due to the school's inaccessibility and encouraged students to go back to the classroom. We each have different stories about how we get into public service. But we've all made a common goal. 
we are in the arena to make real change. As we progress in our careers, make our community progress at the same time. Don't lose the spirit of service that brought us here in the first place. Keep the selfless attitude, commitment, confidence, open-mindedness, and teamwork to serve people. Aquilino Ronquillo Mapili Jr. Administrative Aid 3, Municipal Government of San Jose, Occidental, Mindoro. For his perseverance and indomitable spirit in the delivery of civil registry services to the geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas in the municipality of San Jose. Unmindful of his personal disability, he initiated the mobile civil registration system wherein municipal civil registry staff went to remote areas, including those occupied by the indigenous people. Na tumataas po yung numero ng aming pagtatala, lalo tigit po sa ating mga kapatid na katutubong mang yan, na tumataas po yung bilang ng, ng pagre-register po. Nais ko pong maibahagi yung aking kalaman, kakayahan, at paglilingkod po sa iba. Uh, gusto ko pa pong makatulong ng lubos sa ating mga kababayan na nangangailangan sa patungkol po sa civil registration documents, lalo na po dun sa mga kababayan natin na sa mamalayo uh, mga marginalized areas po. Markson Bosquillos Mejia, Education Program Specialist 2 of Department of Education Schools Division of Sorsogon City, Sorsogon. For resolutely carrying out ingenious ways to stir interest in mathematics and for developing evidence-based educational innovations designed to improve numeracy and math literacy skills. Using gamification, digital exercises, math games and puzzles, strategic interventions such as the Math Facebook e-classroom, and other practical application of arithmetic among students. He helped improve the rating of zero or non-numerates in the division of Sorsogon City for five consecutive years. Who would become the drivers of our future? I want to inspire the youth and inculcate to them the value of discipline and hard work. As a public servant, I want to serve people with purpose and to do good for others in our community. I am continually motivated when I see fellow public servants and educators do the same. Whenever I see others do their part for our community and society, I realize that I am on the right track, that we are doing this not for ourselves but for the benefit. Annaline Climaco Perez, Head Teacher 3, Dinaut Elementary School. Department of Education, Altavas Aklan, for going beyond teaching in the four walls of the classroom, extending assistance to learners, their parents, and the community. She pushed for the conversion of the Dinaut Primary to an elementary school, ensuring that all requirements are met. Availability of classrooms, sufficient enrollees from kindergarten to grade 6, and teaching staff. Education being a key to success must not stop in primary levels or merely fourth grade. Children deserve to be properly educated and go for in chasing their dreams. I have witnessed how every child is uniquely smart, and if they will be given a chance to pursue education, they are brimming with limitless potential. This is why I, together with the people who helped me turn two primary schools into complete elementary schools. Congratulations to the 2020 and 2021 Tangal ng Bayan Awardees! And now, the Presidential Lingkod Bayan recipients. This is the highest award given to a public servant or group of public servants for exceptional or extraordinary contributions that had nationwide impact on public interest, security, and patrimony. The Presidential Lincoln Bayan awardees, individual and group, shall receive a plaque signed by the President of the Philippines, gold-gilded medallion meticulously crafted by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, cash reward of 200,000 pesos per individual awardee, or 100,000 pesos for each member of group awardees, and automatic promotion to the next higher position suitable to their qualifications with commensurate salary pursuant to Executive Order 
Series of 1992. The 2020 Presidential Lingkod Bayan Awardees are Bayawan Aquaculture Team, City Government of Bayawan, Bayawan City, Negros Oriental, Faith A. Napigit, Team Leader, Ricky G. Abayon, Rolly H. Alson Jr., and Ronaldo T. Luciana. For the immense impacts of the team's initiatives in food security and poverty alleviation, strengthening economic activities through aquaculture, environmental sustainability, and women empowerment in Negros Oriental. They converted the Danapa Aquaculture Facility into an income-generating venture to produce tilapia fry and fingerlings, thus ensuring adequate fish supply for Bayawan City and neighboring municipalities. Faith. That stands for Fish Always in the Home. And that is the team brand of the Bayawan City Aquaculture Team. It gives us a great sense of fulfillment that we are able to assist our farmers in this time of the pandemic. We are able to make food accessible to them by growing it in their own backyards. And therefore, we are able to put food on their table. Any employee can achieve great things, but only if you put your mind into Carrageenan Plant Growth Promoter Team, Philippine Nuclear Research Institute of Department of Science and Technology, Quezon City, Lucille V. Aban, Team Leader, Fernando P. Aurige, Patrick J. E. Cabalar, Hill L. Magsino, and Francis Cyril C. Valdez. For the team's breakthrough discovery of the Caraginan plant growth promoter formulation and the development of the technology to produce it on a commercial scale, extracted from seaweed, the CPGP can increase crop yield by 15 to 20 percent and improve crop resistance to adverse weather conditions, translating to additional income for Filipino rice farmers. This award is not only for us, but also to the thousands of other civil servants who may have not been nominated but are equally deserving to receive this award. I believe that the government service consists of a majority of people who are committed to their role as public servants and who perform their tasks with dignity and respect. As with most scientists like us, nothing brings us satisfaction more than to see our research work bear fruit. The Filipino scientist is well positioned to add to the body of knowledge which future generations can build upon, and especially when our work proves useful for the nation. National Retail Payment System or NRPS Core Team, Banco Central ng Pilipinas, Manila. J. Dizon, Team Leader. Herman Constantino Jr., Annalisa Resines, and Bridget Rose Messina Romero. For the implementation of National Retail Payment System, widely recognized as a game changer given its benefits to the country's financial ecosystem, the NRPS framework allowed interoperability of all payment systems through the use of payment platforms such as PesoNet and Instapay, resulting in better services for consumers hastening migration to online payments, and boosting financial inclusion in the digital-enabled system. What else would be more rewarding than becoming part of the Banco Central's National Retail Payment System, or NRPS Core Team? The efforts of this team brought forth the much-needed interoperable digital payment services, particularly the InstaPay and the PesoNet. This e-payment facility is vital and rather than just essential in advanced economic growth on a national level, the weaker flow of funds in the economy through digital payment services translates into faster turnover of productive activities that fuel economic growth. The 2021 Presidential Lingkod Bayan Awardees are Nelly Shababa Agangan University Researcher 2, Scientist 1, National Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, University of the Philippines, Los Baños, Laguna. 
for her commitments in promoting biodiversity, developing significant technologies and breakthrough agricultural projects in biofertilizers and mycorrhizal inoculants, which increase tolerance of plants to stress such as drought, high temperature, and heavy metals. She developed soil-based biofertilizers for fruit trees, agricultural crops, reforestation species and ornamentals which enhance absorption of water and nutrients, improve soil properties, increase yield, and is highly applicable in organic farming. What made you motivated to do for two years to come to Turkey? I am inspired and passionate to find the farmers who are interested in this world. Dr. Flor Delisa Hidalgo Borde. Deputy Executive Director 4 of Philippine Rice Research Institute, Science City of Munoz, Nueva Ecija, for having improved the competitiveness and income of Filipino rice farmers through efficient and effective stewardship of the Rice Competitiveness Enhancement Fund. Under her stead, more than 5 million bags of certified seeds were distributed to over 2 million farmers in 57 provinces nationwide which contributed immensely to achieving record high palay output at almost 19.3 million tons in 2020 and 2021, thus secured the country's rice supply. Every time I wake up each day, I thank the Lord for my life, my family, and my job. It gives me an opportunity to serve our Filipino rice farmers, and in my own little way, I feel connected to their development. There will always be people who looks down on government employees. Corrupt yan, mabagal kumilos, o walang aksyon. May mga nagsasabi naman na walang kwenta yung ating ginagawa. Sometimes, not only non-government people look down on us, but also our colleagues within the government. Then this will lead you to question yourself. Why am I still here? Why am I still doing this? For me, as long as there are people who benefits from my services, especially the farmers, then I will continue to do it. Yung mga ngiti nila, yung mga pagtango, mga pasasalamat at mga testimonya, this bring me intrinsic joy, which are enough to keep me going. This drives me not only to continue but also to iterate, innovate, and improve to deliver better services to them. Roy Mancera Cueva Director 3 of Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, Agusan del Norte Provincial Office, Butuan City, Agusan del Norte. For his immense contribution in alleviating the plight of the rural poor in the province of Agusan del Norte, he conscientiously made sure that the presence and support of the government is felt in peace-challenged villages by offering training and livelihood programs, enhancing food security through farm schools, introducing first aid and basic life support modules, and promoting employment through the setting up of agritourism villages. What I love most about my job is the opportunity to reach out and help others, especially the marginalized sectors who do not usually have access to government services, especially training. As a director of TESDA, whose mandate is technical education and skills development. This gives me a position of influence to do my part in making a difference and transform the lives of our Kababayans. Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Tolentino Eliazar, Police Chief of Philippine National Police, Camp Crame, Quezon City for his significant contribution in upgrading crime prevention capability. He championed the setting up of the Integrated Command and Control Center of the Anti-Cyber Crime Team, which enhanced the communication system used in crime surveillance, prevention and solution, central emergency response, 
and data and information transmission to all police stations and operating units. The quality of leadership is critical in every organization. It can be inspirational if it is above reproach. Thus, my brand of leadership motivates police officers to strive for excellence, which turns to inspire widespread public support in every program for the police force. As the father of the Philippine National Police, these are the words that I want to impart to every personnel, to excel, to engage, and to empower. Inspire people to excel in what they do, engage them in the communities they belong to, and empower them to become agents of positive change and influence all for the onward pursuit of nation building. Dr. Angel Balisi Encarnacion, Agricultural Center Chief 2, Scientist 1, Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, Department of Agriculture, Togegarao, Cagayan, for institutionalizing improvements in the fisheries sector through the design of post-harvest facilities that comply with the industry standards, follow food safety rules and reduce income loss of fisher folk. Despite budget limitations, he persevered and conducted research on alternative technologies and livelihood opportunities that include processing of seaweeds into noodles and chips, production of smoked eel, and processing of oyster mushroom powder. What I love most about my job is working for and with people, for our beneficiaries and stakeholders, and with colleagues in before across all ranks and levels. I especially love being with the fisher folk. It is through them that I get to know deeper insights and understand the real scenario on the ground. With these experiences, I have kept my hopes high that the marginalized sector would eventually have a better life too, if only they are given enough opportunities and resources. I take inspiration in their stories, despite lucrative offers abroad for scientists. I am more motivated to stay and become a symbol of hope for them, that anything is possible in life with hard work and patience. Dr. Gerardo Dizon Legaspi, Director 4 of Philippine General Hospital, University of the Philippines, Manila, Ermita, Manila. For charting and carrying out a visionary course for the Philippine General Hospital as a premier institution for medical service, training, and research. His leadership and response to the pandemic is unparalleled as he remains at the front line with PGH's crisis team in protecting the welfare of medical and non-medical staff, delivering the highest level of service to reassure the public of the hospital's unwavering commitment to quality care and to increase public confidence in vaccines. What I love most about this job is the uh, ability of transforming people's lives. Everything that we do as any intervention or changes or modifications of uh, systems or ways um, I think bottom line is to transform people's lives for the better, uh, healing patients, uh, training residents, and even transforming ourselves into better human beings afterwards. I think that would be, that's what gives you so much joy and pleasure at the end of the day. Dr. Rosemary Rosette Licuete, Executive Director 4 of National Kidney and Transplant Institute, Deleman, Quezon City for providing hope and helping patients with end-stage organ failure regain quality of life through transplantation. As the first Filipino woman transplant surgeon, she pushed for the creation of satellite kidney centers in government and private hospitals and worked for the inclusion of transplantation and dialysis services in the country's health insurance package to make the renal care more affordable. Whenever I wear my white coat, I am always reminded of this life and responsibilities to embrace the Hippocratic oath and to lead my life with dignity and honor. In the next years to come, I can see that the government will have a sustainable liver transplant program, especially for pediatric patients. Hope Behind Bars Project, starting with their team leader, Associate Professor 5, Dr. Bernadette B. Gabor and members Associate Professor 3 Joan R. Lobrino, Assistant Professor 3 Nomer N. Varua, and Administrative Assistant 2 John Robert S. Garcia, Bataan Peninsula State University, City of Balanga, Bataan, for their display of compassion in action and for bringing hope to people deprived of liberty. 
The group's in-prison skills development program gave the PDL purpose and direction as they were able to finish technical and vocational courses, engage in micro-entrepreneurship activities, and be productive individuals even behind bars. Para sa aking mga kasamahan na kawali ng pamahalaan, hindi hikayat ko po kayo na panitigan po natin ang tunay na kahulugan ng pagiging lingkod bayan. Tayo pong lahat ay kawali ng bayan. Ibig sabihin po, inaasahan ng bayan ang ating tapat at mahusay na paglilingkod. Na hindi lamang tayo umiikot sa mga nakatakdang trabaho at oras na inaasahan sa atin. Ang ating serbisyo sa bayan ay dapat na may kalakip ng pagmamahal at pag-unawa sa kalagayan ng mga kababayan. Outpatient Drug Treatment and Rehabilitation Center Starting with their team leader, Medical Specialist 3, Dr. Claret Rosario Pano D, and members Nurse 1, Herwin C. Shong, and HEPO 3, JVO Moltio, Baguio General Hospital and Medical Center, Baguio City, for its diligence and commitments in waging the war against drugs through the efficient operation of an outpatient drug treatment facility, adopting a whole-of-government approach in pursuing its anti-drugs advocacy. The facility has assessed thousands of drug dependents on the severity of their substance dependence and provided them with appropriate primary and aftercare interventions. When the present administration started the intense campaign against illegal drugs, thousands of self-confessed drug users and pushers voluntarily surrendered to the authorities. It was not an easy task. It was so overwhelming, but at the same time, challenging. We were able to support these people in their individual journey to recovery. As public servants, we continue to serve with compassion, integrity, loyalty, impartiality, and objectivity. Congratulations to the 2020 and 2021 Presidential Lingkod Bayan Awardees. The Chairperson of the Civil Service Commission will now introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. I send my warmest greetings to the Civil Service Commission as you hold the virtual awarding rights of the 2020 and 2021 search for outstanding government workers. As we recognize the hard work of your government employees, we also honor those who have go above and beyond the call of duty for the benefit of the people. The awards that you receive today only mean progress for our nation. I just urge you to carry it proudly and use it to inspire and serve more Filipinos. Congratulations at mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, for the inspiration and support to the annual search for outstanding government workers. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the awarding rights for the 2020 and 2021 Outstanding Government Workers. May the rest of the 1.8 million civil servants nationwide be inspired by the innovations, initiatives, selfless dedication, and malasakit exemplified by our Lincoln Bayani. This has been your host, Director Lisa Agamata of the Civil Service Commission. Thank you and good afternoon.
May kilala ka bang lingkod bayani? The search for outstanding government workers is on! Nominations to the search may be submitted to the nearest Civil Service Commission, Regional or Field Office until March 31, 2022. For queries, send a message to Honor Awards Program Secretariat through email address hapsecretariat at csc.gov.ph or the contact center ng Bayan through SMS 0908-881-6565 or email at contactcenternangbayan.gov.ph